Alright, uh, this is going to be the uh, last uh, video behind the scenes uh, as far as graphics are concerned. And I'm going to conclude it with basically what I think is where the rubber really meets the road uh, with GLSO. Uh, basically, OpenGL shader language. Um, this is probably the most powerful and um, probably gives uh, many gamers the most frustration. Because, I'll break it down, we have vertex, geometry, and fragment shaders. Or you can call it a uh, fragment of pixel shader, pixel and fragment shader are one and the same thing. But again you have uh, vertex, geometry, and fragment shaders. And these are designed to run on the GPU. And um, the idea of it is to try to have less sync points. And what do I mean by sync point? is that we don't have to go back to the to the CPU we can keep pr primarily everything on the GPU and whether whether we're going to be doing um, like a, a geometry instruction or or a, uh, a fragment instruction um, whether it's math or we're manipulating lines colors textures uh, defining high texture points on, on, on walls, you know, the, 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 that gives you the very, very high definition that you see, um, uh, very high textures. Uh, sometimes you can use, I mean, just an enormous amount of, of, of fragments or pixels uh, instructions to try, to try to get that finite detail displaying. And some programmers would opt to try to use more math by sending uh, fewer points and then using ma mathematical calculations to uh, construct something um, as highly detailed but uh, pulling off something similar and, and I don't don't get me wrong they're not it's not going to produce exactly the same result but in many cases where they can use less points and more math than actual heavy fragment use um, uh, usually gives them a more efficient uh, way of programming something if it can be done. So the cool thing also about this is that you can use buffer objects uh, and, and, and basically feed um, instructions back into the into the pipe, and then the, the GPU well, will take the new instruction set, and uh, of course it's it's feeding out to your monitor and what you see from uh, from there. This is what I was talking about in terms of uh, video cards and things like that, where gamers can have a headache because not every video card has has the same. Um, playing field. I, I, I'm trying to make it as simplistic. They, each each card maybe have has a different set of rules uh, of what it can handle. Like I'm going to put up some examples at the end of this video that maybe uh, like from ATI and I've got some uh, from other places that I've, I'm giving full credit for. Uh, like o Osirix. These these are medical um, renderings. Um, Luxology. Uh, I'm going to put up some some renderings from them, but in, in, into games you could get like an NVIDIA card, which will have a different shader model, and then ATI will have a different shader model, and, and one may have um, a better feature set here, and an, another will have another feature set there. Um, even even to um, when you're talking about uh, the language itself, when we're talking about DirectX 10 and, and, and OpenGL 2.1 or and uh, now OpenGL 3 and what sets um, and instructions will be available to actually communicate with these new technologies that are coming out on these GPUs. So just know that um, with the shading language that it's going gonna, it's gonna to run on the GPU, it's going to have less sync points um, and it's going to um, have access to buffer objects and um, 
give a, a very nice performance boost, especially when utilized. Um, a lot of what I'm saying is contingent on a lot of these applications utilizing it. Uh, if you're using old applications that are using older OpenGL languages or aren't even using these new shader models, you're not going to see this. I mean, but basically, I'm, what I'm explaining is available in Leopard and why Leopard will have a tremendous performance boost if utilized. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and, and put the rest of the video for uh, some OpenGL renderings, whether they, these aren't really specific for, for shaders or anything like that. I just wanted to show some more examples of uh, open, the power of OpenGL.